It's a big issue no matter where you are. According to the Oregon Food Bank, an average of 270,000 people across the state receive emergency food boxes. And just to give you an idea of how many people that actually is, it's a little less than the populations of Jackson and Josephine counties combined. Even in the toughest of times. You know, I always kept a positive and happy, upbeat attitude. April Rodman knew how to push forward. I was a single parent for several years. And even though I was working, I was still considered very low income. For 12 years and on a tight budget, Rodman had to manage paying for rent, utilities, and food for herself and her two children. I had a food budget of $30 a week when I first was out on my own. So I made it work, you know, with potatoes and beans. But there's only so much you can do with limited ingredients. It was through her church that April learned that she was eligible for an emergency monthly food box. Getting the food boxes was just, you know, a, a great bonus and really helped out a lot. April's story is very typical of what we hear because so many of the people that we serve today are what you would call working poor. Susan Shufley is the program manager for the Josephine County Food Bank. Hunger has and is still a very big issue in Josephine County. Shufley says when she started her position in 2006, back then the food bank served 6,000 people. That number doubled a few years ago. Today, they serve 10,500 people. Part of that is not because there are fewer hungry people. Part of that is because we have had a number of pantries who, for a variety of reasons, have had to cut back their hours. So now we have an access issue. Josephine County isn't alone. Across the region, the number of people relying on emergency food ranges from 23,000 in Klamath and Lake Counties to 19,904 in Curry County. That's a lot of food for a lot of need. We're dependent on the community pretty much for what comes in. Items received by the food bank go out into the community to places like Kairos of Grants Pass. That's now where Rodman works as a food supervisor, working hand in hand with the food bank, obtaining food for the nonprofit. What I do is come here to the food bank weekly and um, shop for things that we can use for our residents and they're always very thankful for everything. Rodman knows that feeling. She's been there herself. Now she's happy to give back and help others so they don't have to go to bed hungry. Susan Shufley from the Food Bank also tells me there is a major need for help. Tomorrow night, we'll look at some of the small ways that you can get involved and help make a big difference. In the studio, Kyle Averman, NBC5 News.